I will begin to read this book, Little Heroes of Bay Street. This is uh, a story about children and teaching them how to stay strong in an unhappy home. Now, I understand that not every day we get to live in a very happy environment. You know, every family will have quarrels. Every family will have days where we are happy or sad. But if you are living in an extremely unhappy environment where you see violence, you see people hitting one another, that is the indication that you need to reach out um, to others for help. Now, let's begin. Happy Dog lives in a small apartment on Bay Street in San Francisco with a little girl named Mia and her family. Happy Dog likes to spend his days playing with his fuzzy brothers, snuggling on Mia's bed, and most especially eating creamy desserts. He likes to pretend he is famous and introduces himself to fans. Hi, my name is Happy Dog and I spread happiness. Each morning, before Mia leaves her apartment, she says to Happy Dog, I love you so, and gives him a little smooch on his big furry black nose. She loves the smell of his old fur, and when Mia gets home from school, she always gives Happy Dog a big smooch and asks him what he did during the day. He always just stays quiet, staring at her as if he were just a toy. Mia understands and never probes. This is Happy Dog and this is Mia. After the smooch, Mia invites Happy Dog for snacks. He loves to get invited for snacks. Mia sometimes gets special snacks from her mama. Her favourites are pickled mustard greens and beef jerky from Chinatown. But Happy Dog does not care for these snacks. They are salty and crunchy, not sweet and creamy, the way he likes his snacks to be. That is okay with Mia. She and Happy Dog do not have to always like the same things. One time, Happy Dog took a ride in Mia's toy baby stroller all the way to downtown. While waiting for the 30 Stockton Muni bus, one girl picked into the stroller. When she saw Happy Dog, she exclaimed, That is not a doll! Mia wanted to protect Happy Dog from mean people, so she never took Happy Dog out in her stroller again. Mr. Nelson, the kind man who tends the parking lot at the Italian restaurant on Mia's block, noticed Mia's was, Mia was not happy as she was walking home. He told her to ignore mean people, and he gave Mia some rubber bands for her collection. Occasionally, Happy Dog gets to hop into Mia's backpack and go across the street with her to Swenson's ice cream shop. This is always a super special treat. They usually just get a box of ice cream from the Safeway supermarket. It is fun stirring it in a bowl while watching TV. Their favorite flavor is vanilla though they sometimes ended up getting banana flavour by mistake because Mia's mama could not pronounce vanilla clearly, saying banana instead. Can you see Happy Dog? Happy Dog, also known as Mr. Green, is not just a stuffed animal. He has several important jobs to do. Mia's brother and sister are a lot older than Mia and don't play with her so one of Happy Dog's job is to be Mia's playmate. One thing Happy Dog enjoys is getting invited to play school with Mia. 
He and his fuzzy brothers sit in chairs set up in a semicircle while Mia takes attendance to make sure all her students are present. They do the calendar, talk about the weather, and then Mia reads the class a story. Happy Dog likes listening to stories and looking at all the pictures. When there are no pictures, he and Mia use their imagination. Sometimes they even do maths and science. Mia is not so good in these subjects at school, but at home she can be in charge. Happy Dog is a good student. Singing and dancing are Happy Dog's favourite activities. He and Mia love to listen to songs on the radio. Every morning, they tune in to Dr. Donald D. Rowe's radio show. Mia puts on her prettiest dress from a store on Mission Street, her sister's platform shoes and her mama's white gloves. Happy Dog gets to wear a cool bow tie and hat. Both Mia and Happy Dog love dressing up and pretending to be famous singers. Mia uses a flashlight as a microphone while Happy Dog howls like a wolf as she sings. When they are done, they both take many well-deserved bows. They imagine their faces posted on the wall at the Tower Records store on Bay and Columbus. They feel like superstars. Every birthday, Mia wakes up to see gifts on her bed. Her mother cooks her favorite food. Mia loves the smell of soup. Her family is her father is not home, but he always makes sure she gets a red envelope filled with a little money. In Malaysia, we call it angpao. Happy Dog is right there to help blow out the candles and help eat cake. He knows Mia has the same wish every year. She wishes her family would be happy. But sometimes the small apartment is not so much fun. It gets very noisy when Mia's mama and papa fight. When this happens, Mia hides with happy dog in the bedroom. From the other room, they hear yelling, doors slamming, things getting thrown and her mama crying. My, Mia feels scared and her shoulders feel tight. She hides under the covers, covers and holds Happy Dog tight. His fur is soft and warm against her face. Happy Dog knows that this is his most important job of all, helping Mia feel safe and warm. The next morning, when Mia comes out of her room, she sees that the living room is a mess and some things are broken. Mama is quietly making her lunch. She looks sad. Her papa is not there. Mia wishes that her family could be happy. On Monday, Mia's teacher, Miss Chavez, noticed that Mia was being mean to the other children in her class. She yelled at her best friend, Marana, and almost hit her. This was not like Mia's usual quiet self. So Miss Chavez took Mia aside and had a talk with her. Mia felt her heart thumping inside her chest, just like after she's run down the hill from Sarah B. Cooper School, except this time it does not feel good. Mia was afraid to talk. So Miss Chavez asked her to draw a picture of what happened with her friend. As she was drawing, Mia kept picking at the skin around her fingernails. Miss Chavez noticed that the skin was raw. When Mia finished her drawing, Miss Chavez looked at it for a long time. She was very patient and gently asked Mia many questions. Finally, she found out what was going on in Mia's house. Miss Chavez, can you see? Miss Chavez told Mia that it is not Mia's job to make her parents happy. She told Mia that her mama and papa are grown-ups and need to help themselves. Miss Chavez said she would talk to Mia's parents and find help for them so they could learn how to solve their own problems. 
She said she would also ask them if they would let Mia play at her friends' houses so Mia wouldn't feel so alone. She told Mia to continue to talk to grown-ups she trusts, like Mr. Nelson, who works in the parking lot by her house, or the school counsellor, the nurse, the assistant principal, the principal or relatives. Ms. Chavez also told Mia that the best thing that she could do for her parents and for herself is to continue study, to study hard at school and be a caring, respectful person. Mia drew a picture of herself talking to a teacher and show it to her mama. She was afraid her mama would get mad, but instead she was very understanding. Mia did not know it, but there are many boys and girls like her who feel sad and alone. But she was afraid to tell anyone about her mom and dad because she thought it would be tattling on them. After her talk with her teacher, Mia learned that this is not a secret that little girls and boys should keep to themselves. She now notices when others are having a bad day. She drew a picture of that too. Mia feels sad for them, so she always tries to talk to them. Now Mia has learned that if you are scared or sad, it is important to talk to adults you trust. It is not getting your parents in trouble, it is getting help. On her way home, Mr. Nelson at the parking lot gave Mia a big smile, as he always does, and asked her how her mama was doing. Instead of answering, Mia gave Mr. Nelson a drawing she made for him. Mia watched as a big, happy smile, almost as big as happy dog, spread across Mr. Nelson's face. She smiled back at him. When Mia got home, she gave happy dog a big, squeezy hug. Happy dog always gives good, furry, warm hugs. That is also one of his jobs. When Mia sees Happy Dog's big happy smile, she also feels happy and smiles. They might not be able to make their family happy, but when Mia is with her furry friends, together they can be happy and strong because Happy Dog spreads happiness. Happy Dog is a hero. And Mia is a hero. And that's the end of the story. Now, this book is written by Maria Kawa Leong. And this is a real story. Maria has reached out to me. And Maria wants every child to know that you can come from an unhappy home. But if you seek help, if you get help, you can grow up perfectly happy. And Mia, Mar Maria is now so happy. Uh, she wants to share her story with other children. I have shared on my Facebook page uh, and I will say again for every child who is in an un unhappy environment, you can reach out to um, Buddy Bear. It's a, it's a helpline designated to help children and teenagers to talk about how they feel. And if you need help, you can call Buddy Bear. And if you, I'll give you some time, take a piece of paper now grab a pencil or a pen and write down this phone number. It is very important to have this number so that when you need help, you know how to call uh, to get help. Okay, do you have a piece of paper and a pencil with you now? If you do, it will be helpful to write them down. Now for the adults who are watching, sometimes you may want to keep these phone numbers too. They may come handy, especially when you have friends who need help, they, they might call you for help. So you, you should write down these numbers. So for Buddy Bear, it's 1800 I repeat, for Buddy Bear helpline, it's 1800 Buddy Bear time uh, helpline, is open from Monday to Sunday, 12 p.m., 12 noon to 12 midnight, okay? I repeat, Buddy Bear time, uh, helpline, 1-800-182327, 1-800-182327.
2327. Now, for those of you who may want to WhatsApp, you can also reach out to women aid organization, especially those who are experiencing domestic violence at home. You can WhatsApp women aid organization. It's the, the WhatsApp is called Tina, T-I-N-A. And the phone number is 018-988-8058. I repeat, Tina, WhatsApp, Women Aid Organization, 018-988-8058. There is also the Women Ministry. They have a Talian Kase, it's 15999. You can also call for help. Now, for very serious uh, incidents at home, you must reach out to the police. And you, I, I think all of you know how to call the police. Uh, please ensure that you reach out for help. Never settle uh, and, and stay quiet alone at home. Now, for those of you who want to get a copy of this book, Little Heroes of Bay Street, uh, I have typed it out on my Facebook there. You can purchase it uh, directly online. And uh, after today's session, I will be posting the story uh, on YouTube and there will also be a special appearance by Happy Dog. That's right. Remember, this is a real story and the writer Maria wants you to know that children who come from unhappy home, when they get help, they will be okay. All right, folks, that's all I have for tonight. Thank you for watching and thank you for um, following story time uh, with Hannah Yo and I will continue to do this for our children in Malaysia. Take care and remember it's all our duty, um, it's all of uh, our duty to protect children out there. Uh, please ensure that you keep an eye on uh, the children that you know, make sure they are doing okay and those are the numbers where you can get professional help. Thank you and good night everybody. Hi! Hi! My name is Happy Dog and I spread happiness. <laughs> we love bedtime stories. Thank you, Hannah. Remember, boys and girls, be strong, be brave, be caring, work hard at school, even if it's online. We know this COVID virus is not fun. No fun! Are your mommy and daddy going cuckoo? We are going cuckoo. But when mommy and daddy are fighting, it's not your fault. Mommy and daddy love you. Just go hug your fuzzy. You can be a hero too. Hi everybody. Hi boys and girls. Listen to Happy Dog. He knows things. Just as when you're playing with your friends and you argue over a toy, sometimes mommy and daddy don't know how to get along too. They are not bad and you are not bad. Remember, when you go to school, you can talk about your feelings with the wonderful counselors. It's okay to feel scared and it's okay to feel mad. Don't keep it all inside. Talk with a grown-up that you trust. To the people out there, the grown-ups, I would like to say, if somebody is hurting you, love yourself. Be good to yourself. You don't deserve to be hit. Go get help. Go get help for your children so that when your children grow up, they don't need to feel the pain that you are feeling. Be strong. And to all the other people out there who are in happy, healthy homes, stay happy. But please reach out to the families who are struggling. I know it's easier to look away, but your support can help improve those moms' and dads' lives so that they can protect their children. Don't turn your back on them. Together, we can all make a difference. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Wai Ping. Thank you, Hannah. Stay safe.